Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's Friday, which you know, if you've been watching for a while, Plant Chat Friday. Plant Chat Friday. Which is one of our favorite days. Yep. So guys, today we are talking about Angelonia. I know. Or it's also called Archangel, Angel Face, or Summer Snapdragon. I know, it has like a ton of names. It we does. have actually two different plants, again, um, Archangel and Angel Face, from two different companies that we're gonna teach you about today. Yep. Yep, so, and it actually, it does resemble a snapdragon. It it's it's yeah. a beautiful plant. It just really likes the heat, unlike snapdragons. So uh, with that, let's get to it. Yeah, let's go check them out. So guys, here we are. Here are our Angelonia, or Archangel, or uh, Angel Face. Uh, it's got so many different names, and some are snapdragons, right? This is Angelonia. It's a beautiful plant. We've got three different ones here. And before I get in and tell you about each one of them real quick here, don't they really resemble snapdragons? Those flowers, they look so similar. And they're actually, their growth and everything, even, even a little bit of their leaves too. It's great. But unlike snapdragons, these guys love heat. They thrive in the heat. And so uh, this is a great plant to have in your yard, uh, especially during the summer, all the way into the fall to the first frost that is gonna continually flower. And it's just gonna keep growing up and up and up and up with all these gorgeous flowers in this color. So this is a great plant to have. So guys, the first Angelonia we wanna introduce you to is Angel Face Perfectly Pink. And that's this guy right here. Now, this plant is a little bit different than these other two you'll see here because this is gonna get almost up to 30 inches its first year of growth. Let's turn it around here and maybe you can see that pink just a little bit better, see? There you go, here's some right here. We got more here and then here's that one I was pointing out earlier. So the now, next Angelonia we wanna tell you about is Archangel White. And you can obviously see, here it is right here and we can turn just a little bit there. There you go, Archangel White. Now this is from Ball Floral. This is a little bit different of a plant. Now this one and the one I just told you about, the Perfectly Pink, they're both Angelonia hybrids. The next plant that we have is Angelonia Blue Bicolor, and this is actually Angelonia uh, angustifolia, and that's a completely different species than these other two, but they're all Angelonia. They all have very similar traits. So okay, it's perfectly pink, gets up to about 30 inches, like I was saying before, 30 inches tall. These other two, um, the ball floral ones, uh, they actually only get to about 12 to 14 inches tall. So they're getting, they're almost to their, their full height, these two right here. And then this guy's gonna get a lot taller. Now, that's perfectly fine though, especially how we have it placed in this pot. You can see, just for your own information, this is Bacopa that's planted around it. And so it's really nice, this is trailing out, this is growing up. You can obviously see this plant grows upright and it's beautiful. Now, this plant, all three of these plants, either the hybrid or the angustifolia, they are hardy in zones 10A to 11B, meaning they'll actually be perennials, they'll grow as perennials in those zones. In all the other zones, either below 10A or above 11B, they're gonna be annuals. And in our zone, zone 8B, we're growing them as annuals, so, but they're beautiful, and they're gonna keep flowering until the very first frost. So guys, to grow this plant in your own garden, you're, need, you're gonna need to give it at least six plus hours of full sun. Now it likes intense heat, it likes high humidity too, it loves the summer weather. So anywhere where it's intense heat, full sun, it's gonna love it. It's also gonna need uh, well-draining soil and it's gonna need regular watering. Now this plant will thrive under drought conditions, but it will also uh, thrive if it has really wet feet, if it's kept watered a lot more than it needs to, still gonna be perfectly fine. So it'll put up with a little bit of abuse on both sides of the spectrum, too, too wet, too dry. So a really cool plant. Now this plant also doesn't need to be deadheaded. You can see, if you get in a little bit closer, here's some old seed heads right here. These were all flowers down here couple weeks ago and the flower the flowering just progresses up the stem and now you can see these guys are in full bloom and now we've got some new ones even coming in further up top near the tip of the plant of this stem so it just progresses with opening flowers as it goes up the stem and developing new ones until it reaches its full height and then it'll stop flowering uh, around around the fall uh, the fall months and it's just beautiful so it's a really cool plant to have easy maintenance um, so you should definitely consider adding it to your garden. So last but not least, pests. Uh, Angelonia are susceptible to aphids and powdery mildew. So with the powdery mildew, if you have a lot of really dense growth, high humidity, 
and low uh, air circulation around it, it can be susceptible and will get powdery mildew. So keep that in mind, put it in a well circulated area and keep an eye out for those little aphids. Okay, you guys, so Sean just went over the growing information for Angelonias. Um, I really love this plant. I think it's really cool. It's, an, it's a versatile, easy to care for plant, which I think would be great for a beginner. Um, they look kind of fancy, don't you think? But then they also kind of look tropical. And the secret is there's hardly very little care. And the fact that they can withstand drought and wet feet, it makes them a really versatile plant for companion planting. So first off, um, you can see we planted ours in a Crescent Garden container. This is an Ella Round container that we actually refreshed from a spring planting that we had done. And we thought, you know what, we want really bright, tall, upright plants, which this fits the bill. And then we want a fun spilling plant like this Bacopa. Usually Angelonia obviously is used as a, as a thriller if you're designing a container because it does stand upright. Again, this plant is so versatile because of its growing needs and conditions that you can plant it with just about anything. You can plant it with a drier, needing a little bit more drier soil plant like either a geranium or a calibrachoa. So that would look beautiful. Or you can even plant these with petunias, Dusty Miller. Um, obviously we planted ours with a Bacopa because we loved the differences in the foliage. Um, the light bright green here and then the kind of lance shaped leaves, a little bit darker foliage. Oh, speaking of foliage, you guys, we just discovered this. Um, it does mention this on the websites for these plants. The foliage actually smells like grape, like grape soda, they claim. So we kind of were trying it on all the different all the different plants here. It does kind of have a different type of fragrance, but I don't know if I'm smelling grape soda, but that's that's kind of a cool fun fact. Um, for that reason, you could use Angelonia as cut flowers. I mean, they, they really make a beautiful cut flower just because of their shape and their upright stem. But, and then you bring them inside and they apparently smell like grape soda. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> you can see here that we have a, a variety of different colors. Um, we wanted to try out, you know, different flower colors all grouped together. So we have pink, white, and a bluish purple color. This is pretty much the range of the Angelonias that are on the market um, currently. Um, they're kind of different shades of pinks, different shades of purples or almost blues, and then whites. So you're gonna see various, like uh, for example, proven winners, their angel face um, Angelonia. There are 11 different shades of those three colors. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. I'm getting buzzed by a bee. So obviously these are, these attract bees and hummingbirds. So that's something to be aware of. Maybe butterflies as well. We haven't seen butterflies on this yet, but that might be um, a great attractor for those too. Okay, so color though, um, we love this bicolor, this blue bicolor. Look at that beautiful, I guess that would be called its tongue maybe. It kind of has like a whitish, yellowish center. I think that's so beautiful. And I actually want to point out, if I can turn this uh, container here, look at the inside of the perfectly pink angel face from Proven Winners. It kind of has a kind of spots almost going on in there. That's really beautiful. And actually, we might as well look at the white one. Look how gorgeous that is. Kind of have like a yellowish greenish center. So, you know, from afar, again, these could pass as like a tropical plant. So that's kind of a cool option. They also could work really well in a cottage garden. So really depending on your style, you could kind of play around with these and you know match them with any type of different plant and just kind of experiment a little bit. In the garden, which you can grow these right in the ground, they just, they're, they might need a little compost and kind of some fertilizer maybe weekly um, to kind of keep them, you know, and especially in containers as well, you're gonna need to fertilize probably weekly. Um, basically in the ground, these, like Sean already mentioned, um, the perfectly pink can get as high as 30 inches tall. Wow, right? So can you imagine a huge, just tall, upright plant with just these beautiful pink blooms that never stop blooming? This will go through the fall. So for those of you that are kind of um, checking this plant out for the first time and thinking that it might be too late since it's usually grown and sold as a summer annual, you can still buy this and grow this in your yard and you'll have it for a couple more months. So that's that's something to think about. Yeah, guys, that's Angelonia for you. What a wonderful plant. I know, it's an awesome plant, you guys, and it's so great for beginners. It's great for containers. It's great for landscapes. Yeah. You really can't go wrong. No, you really can't. And, and to use it and be able to have it even as a cut flower into the fall, I mean, that's so cool. I know. So, 
Yeah, you guys, hey, leave us any comments or questions down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss our future garden care videos. And we'll see you tomorrow on our Saturday morning live at 9 oh, a.m. Yeah. Pacific Standard Time. This whole month ahead is the August Audience Challenge, and we had people submit topics that we chose. So tomorrow is our first topic. Yep. So come on by to see what the topic is and see what the winner is going to choose from a kind of a grab bag of prizes that we have available. Yep, it's going to be so exciting, be you guys. So, fun. so yeah, can't wait to see you. So thank you for watching and for being here on this week's Thanks, Friday guys. Plant Chat, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.